In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A very warm welcome to you here at St. Martin of Tours Church in Plasto. A very different view for you today as you we're beaming from the control tower. Um, but our prayers, as ever, remain the same. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. I will give thanks to you, Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell of all your marvellous works. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. And this morning's psalm is Psalm 110. The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. May the Lord stretch forth the scepter of your power, rule from Zion in the midst of your enemies. Noble are you on this day of your birth, on the holy mountain, from the womb of the dawn, the dew of your new birth is upon you. The Lord has sworn and will not retract. You are a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. The king at your right hand, O Lord, shall smite down kings in the day of his wrath. In all his majesty he shall judge among the nations, smiting heads over all the wide earth. He shall drink from the brook beside the way, Therefore shall he lift high his head. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our first short reading today is from the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 2, verses 16 to 20. The shepherds went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told him about his, this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. Our second short reading is from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 1, verses 4 and 5. In him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. Our clicker is still playing up, as I see. May I speak in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Sunday, um, we will be celebrating Epiphany here at St. Martin's. It's a principal feast in the Anglican Church. Um, the actual date is next Wednesday, but because we are transferring Epiphany to Sunday, I thought I'd talk about it today, and I hope I'm not going to be spoiling any sermons. Most people associate Epiphany with the visit of the wise men, and indeed that's a very important part, as well as the symbolism of the gifts they brought. Perhaps more important, though, is where the Magi came from. They came from afar. The word Epiphany means manifestation or an event which clearly shows something abstract. I hope that's enlightened you. Throughout the Old Testament, the books of the law, the Torah or the Pentateuch, the history books, the wisdom books and the books of the major and the minor prophets, the Israelites are told time and again to be a spiritual light to the other nations of the world. The Hebrews, beginning with Abraham, were given a missionary task to live in the light of what God had revealed to them. He placed them in a strategic location and he enabled them to build a house of prayer, the temple 
for all nations. God's purpose was to bless all the families of the earth through Abraham and his descendants. But sadly, Israel did not share the same heart for the world. Even if a Gentile converted to Judaism, he or she was treated as a second-class Jew, not included fully in the practices of the faith because he or she was not a direct descendant of Jacob. It was Werner Miles who penned the phrase, diversity is being invited to the party, inclusion is being asked to dance. While there weren't many invitations that went out in the Old Testament. So what did God do? He sent his only son, Jesus Christ, so that all may know him. And this is the importance of Epiphany. The wise men came from afar and were Gentiles. They were non-Jews. On Sunday, we celebrate the manifestation of our Lord to the Gentiles, to us, to everyone. And you can't get more diverse than everyone. So on the day of the Epiphany, don't just think about kings, gold, frankincense and myrrh, but spend some time thanking God for his diversity, accept his invitation, and get down and boogie with our inclusive Lord. Amen. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. To us a child is born, to us a son is given. Let us pray for the people he came to save. Wonderful counsellor, you order all things with your wisdom. Help the church to reveal the mystery of your love and fill her with the spirit of truth. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Mighty God, the government is on your shoulders. Guide the leaders of the nations and bring in your kingdom of justice and righteousness. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Everlasting Father, you call us to live together in unity. Protect by your mercy all your children. Bless our families and renew our communities. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Prince of Peace, you bring reconciliation through the cross. By your healing power, give to all who suffer your gift of wholeness and peace. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Let us commend the world to which Christ came to the mercy and protection of God. Now the collect for today. Almighty God, who wonderfully created us in your own image, and yet more wonderfully restored us through your Son, Jesus Christ, grant that as he came to share in our humanity, so we may share the life of his divinity, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the grace of Christ our Saviour be with us all. Amen.